Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today guys, I've, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd better take a look at the uh, incident that took between the SMP and the Labour uh, Lab Dem Party, not the Labour Party, Jesus, that's bad enough. But, um, no, today what I want to talk about is the, um, the court case that the SMP and the Lib Dem tried to do by making the first meet TV debate, but but between uh, the two main parties, Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour and the Conservative parties, the first head-to-head -head TV debate, and then the the other two leaders weren't invited. So great! <laughs> now I just want to see about the what Joe Swindon thought about this altogether, and because she is a light laugh. I mean, she is a laugh and a half. You know, to make an absolute mock of a girl. I'm sorry, but it's true, because you do it to yourself all the time. So I looked at Sky News and see what it was, you know, the f when she got the, the the action. So, general election 2019, Lib Dem leaders purely after being excluded from TV debate. Well, that might happen if you were actually worthy of a contestant against the two main parties. But the thing is, you're not. So, shut up. So, I want to see what uh, her reaction was, because I can't remember exactly why. It was like this. I can't remember. I can't remember at all. So I think that you're the uh, female leader of a major party. You haven't been invited to this first debate. Um, surely the reason you haven't been invited is because the two people who've been asked are the two people who've got the most likely chance of being the next prime minister. I'm a candidate to be prime minister in this election. And frankly, when you look at the way Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn are carrying on, I think I could do a better job than either of them. If you look at the... <laughs> okay, I remember why I, uh, I didn't want to make this video. Okay. <laughs> so, what basically got from that was, yeah, she thinks she's better than everyone else. Jill Swindon has challenged her, her exclusion from night, the live TV debate between Boris Johnson and Jamie Corbyn, accusing of them as sponsored with sexist scared, <laughs> or both. Um, no darling, they are not scared. It's the fact that they have more of a chance to win the vote than you two do anyway. You or the SMP, because it's, don't know why this says Lib Dems, but maybe it's the time of the article. Lib, De Lib Dem leader hit out on a mission by the ITV as she held out the prospect of her party taking part of the Remain Electoral Alliance in dozens of seats across the UK. Yeah, that might happen. That's why you have the SMP and everyone who's the anti-democrat. Well, it says here, aim to boost in the challenges of, of electing anti-Brexit MPs. Yeah, that's exactly why we don't fucking want you in power. Sorry for swearing, but that's why. But, after all that happened, they still lost the competition because they don't know how to do the what the hell they is supposed to do. As it says here, General Election 2019, the Lib Dems and SMP lose the debate on ITV debate challenge, legal challenge. <laughs> oh, these guys are clowns beyond belief. Oh my god. The Lib Dems and SMP lost their legal challenge will be include to be included in the ITV head to head debate between the general election of December twelfth. Yeah, we we know that, but the ch the channel is due to air force between the Boris Johnson, Jeremy Corbyn, the SMP, sorry, the Tories and Lib Labour, so obviously that's legit because the Conservative Party and the Labour Party are the two top parties of the UK and there's no need to explain on why they would get their own debate show. But let's see why they didn't get it. Um, but da -da -da. It's really funny how Joe Swindon thought it was a uh, sexist in a way because it was like sexist really i mean no it's legitimately because um the itv wanted the two main people to be in charge like it's gonna explain here um in the high court in london lord justice davis and mr justice warby said the case was not suitable for Judge all the view as ITV is not carrying out a public function <laughs> in law holding in debate. Well fucking done, ITV. 
I actually give you credit, and it's funny that there's actually people saying they're undemocratic. Well, I would say between the debate between Corbyn and Boris, that was quite harsh on Boris's half, but it's 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 right there, and it's judge, judgeable the few as ITV was not carrying out a public function in law holding the debate. So, you've lost your whole bloody idea, you lost your fight, and look at Ian Blackburn, that selfish here. And even though, it, oh, it's just the, but the Lib Dem education spokesman, Laura Bowman, tweeted, the fight must continue, adding it's outrageous that the main voice is missing from the ITV debate. Well, you know, if Labour decided what party they were actually going to be on, or which side of the politicians they were actually going to be with, you know, it would be a lot more easier, but Labour's more than the main side, because they did disobey what they were asked by the public to do, was to respect Brexit. Brexit, I've even forgot how to spell Brexit move, Jesus. It's simply wrong of broadcasters to press in the binary choice and pre-attempt decision of the people in a general election, but the ITV had every right to do that in its own way. Oh, I'm not even going to bother listening to that. But, um, it was absolutely legit for ITV to do that. If they want to get these two people on, the head of the Conservative Party and the Labour Party, they're the perfect opposition, you know, leader of the opposition in the main party, which somehow Conservatives are not in charge, they have every right to say so. But the thing is, I don't see why Joe Swindon was moaning in any way. Because she got an interview anyway with ITV. And there was an actual show where they showed her where um, the leaders of the other oppositional parties, the Greens, the Lib Dems, and uh, Nigel Farage, and the SNP were all there. Got their own private interviews from ITV. Exact same studio as they used for the boss and Jeremy Corbyn election. I mean... I uh, mean, sorry, speech and debate. And uh, I just can't see why. And I'll tell you, out of the whole thing, I mean, this is only a short video, out of the whole thing, Joe Swinder got the most impact. Because you know why? She said she would use nuclear weapons. Without a doubt, it was like fire down questions and the tree. Joe Swinder was like, yes. Like, sorry, it was like, um, you can watch this for yourself as long as you can get the ITV app or whatever it is. It was like Fireland questions, and she was asked, um, would you use nuclear weapons? Yes. Well, that's fucking trustworthy, isn't it, Joe? Sorry, I'm attacking Joe a lot, but the thing is, she just, oh, gets my mind a lot. But, I, it's, uh, it's happy that ITV stands their ground and say, no, this is not sexist. I mean, we make this kind of content all the time, so does BBC, but we're not doing sexist things because of you're the, in charge. Or uh, your leader of a political party, because Nigel Farage, um, Nicola Sturgeon, Joe Swindon, and the leader of the Green Party. I'm sorry, I didn't actually realise there was two leaders of the Green Party, so I only mind the guy's name and not your name. I'm sorry. But, you know, they got all in personalised interviews, and I want to talk about that next and see what I actually brought on. And like I said, she wants to use nuclear weapons. I'm not going to fucking trust her. Jeremy Corbyn's more worth trust with whatever nuclear weapons. And Boris, and Trump, I'd rather spot those guys. But, that's what I think about that. I think it was like for ITV to actually say what they wanted to say. And it was just funny to see them out getting their asses kicked about something normal. But all the other in TV interviews they're going to be getting is going to be very interesting. Because we have a two hour debate, which is probably, you've seen it by now, on the uh, question time on the Friday the 22nd. Which, two hours with... Nicola Sturgeon, Joe Swindon, Boris Johnson, and Jeremy Corbyn all in the same room with people. Oh, God, that is just hunky-dory for somebody that wants to kick their ass about how badly they've all done their bloody jobs. But there's all hope. There's all hope. We have an election coming up. So there's every doubt we could win. So let's see how this goes tomorrow or whenever you watch it. So everyone who watched this video, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you please like, share and subscribe to the channel because the content on this channel is limited to what Google and YouTube would like to show on the internet. 
and please give a nice thumbs up to the video or if you don't want to do that just subscribe to the channel because notification bells and that will be taken down eventually so on so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video i've made so far and hopefully catch you on the next one on this channel thank you and goodbye hail the empire